Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Grace from Grace's Diamond World and if this is your first time stumbling on my channel, I would love for you to stumble, stay and subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below, next to which is a notification bell, which will go ding each and every single time I upload a new video. I haven't done that in a long, long time. Before we get into today's unboxing, I would love to throw some love Hmm. Out to the Patreons of the channel and to all of you guys that have already hit the like and subscribe thus far in my diamond painting journey. Thank you so much for the rest of you that are still teetering on whether you should or you shouldn't. Here's some thinking music for you. They're down below. Have a look. And guys, I'm going to see you on the flip side. Come with me. Are you ready? Are you red, red, ready? All right. So I was out and about and I went to our direct factory outlet uh, the other day and I stopped into one of, uh, I'm just trying to grab this box or this bag, I should say. I stopped in at one of our craft stores that we've got here and it's actually called Ka Ka Kaiser Craft. Kaiser Craft. Okay. And I know that uh, they've got diamond paintings and I've got a bunch of them here. Look. We're going to look at them all but what was super exciting about this is a they're licensed diamond paintings okay and two they were on sale and three there was a sale on their sale i've been on a bargain hunting extravaganza lately honestly by now you would have seen the one that i got from direct dots um all my diamond dots paintings yes massive haul massive massive haul when i come across bargains i have to share them with you now i did ask the lady in the store is it store specific for those of you that are in australia or those of you i don't know if they deliver overseas but anyway join me for the ride and have a look at the bargains that i got now i'm going to pick them out randomly from here okay i don't know which one i'm going to pick out first okay but we're going to have a look together Interesting that I do remember the last time I unboxed Kaiser Craft, which is only one other time on my channel, they gave me actually, uh, di uh, what is it? Diamond Dots Vibes. And I said that quite a lot. Now, have a look at this price, $28.99, okay? Trust me, kiddos, peeps, I did not pay $28.99, all right? So this is the back of it. So it's got your instructions. It's got the price of normal retail. I'm going to cover the yellow sticker, Kaiser Sparkle. That's the first one that we're going to be doing. It's an owl. See what I mean by diamond dots vibes? It's got design size, canvas size. See what I mean? 440 by 340 and then the canvas. We'll talk about that in a minute. But that's what we're going to be doing. And it tells you what you get in there and then the picture. I'm going to keep the price till last and I need to take off my jacket because I am schwitzing. So excuse me whilst I derobe. <laughs> you're going to get to know all the things. Welcome to all my new subscribers. If this is one of the first videos that you're coming across, you know, this is what we do on this channel. I'm going to take this jacket off because honestly I am, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, all right. That is far better. So let's rip into this box, shall we? and have a look and see if I, uh, if I, if I got a bargain or not. Now, given that there's so many paintings, we're definitely, definitely not going to be going through, you know, all the diamonds and all of this and all of that, but we'll take you through one tour. Okay. So, comes in the box and it also comes in the bag. Nice to know. Now, very stiff canvas. Very, very stiff. Mm-hmm. And let's, it is poured glue. Now, I would classify these as like a beginner, a beginner type um, level, if that makes sense, okay? if that makes sense. So you get a very, very basic toolkit. You get a, it's got a glittery pen. You've got a multi-placer at the end, which allows you to diamond paint with, you know, multiple diamonds at a time. You've got a squishy that goes around your pen. Okay. I'll do it once just in case, just in case. 
this is your very first video ever and you're wondering what is that blue thing Gracie that's what it's for you put it on your pen <laughs> it's a nice tight squeeze and that helps you know because you will get crampy after a while okay so it gives you a bit more comfort you get yourself a Bosch or a diamond painting tray and some wax in there as well now if you're new to the craft trust me guys this is all you need right to dip your toe in and have a go all right these are our diamonds here now it looks like is there a code i'm trying to look probably it might be on the canvas let's have a look at the canvas you didn't come for anything else come on to be fair to be fair let's have a look and see what the image is like shall we uno due e tre there we go it's an owl and as i said it is very beginner friendly very very beginner friendly um very sticky very very sticky now where is my tape measure is nowhere to be seen however if we look at what it said it did say where is it design size 44 by 34 and canvas 500 but so what they mean by that is the canvas is 40 by 50 right from here to here and your diamond painting area okay is 44 by 34 so she's a nice morsel size and you can see there is color blocking i won't i can't zoom you in because the camera is going to be funny but it is a lot of color blocking what do we mean by color blocking color blocking is when you've got big sections of just one color okay how easy is this one how quick is that going to work up you've got 20 colors and they are it looks like dmc coded so you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you've got a b c d e f g h j k l now looking at these all the letters and i always use a light pad but none of these look like are going to give me any trouble whatsoever it is a bit um crinkly however i reckon that's just because it's been sitting in a box for a very long time looking at the diamonds now it does say down here that there is a b5200 i'm curious to know what they mean by that just that one diamond why is it B52? B52s, isn't that a band? <laughs> Come on, how do I get into there? Give me my diamonds. Ah. But how cute is he? This is something really, really easy to do. Like there is like, let's have a look at one set of diamonds. That I think would be fair for you guys, right? so they come in these individual bags now i was curious to know there is nothing on here to give me the sa sa 474 is what's on here see on on that i want to know if that is on the box anywhere and i can't see it anywhere at all no it's not on the box anywhere and it's not on the painting so i would write if you're going to separate them i would definitely write that um what it is on here but just to give you how like bright just bright happy happy colors right and there's no dmc codes on the diamonds they're only numbers look at this pink 13 where's that 13 goes on the D. So this 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 watermelon pink is this D, which is the honeycomb outline. And then E is number 14, which is 
you get three bags of this one here and that's going to fill in the background how cute i want to know what 20 is oh so it's just oh it's literally just white <laughs> nothing fancy it's just plain old white but it is round i'm looking at them they look very flat backed doesn't look like there's a lot of trash in there at all to be fair and honest you tell me can you see Let, let's let's focus focus for the people they look pretty cool eh? they look all right now i am going to put a disclaimer right at the back i have done many 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 unboxings and i have said in a few videos and i'm going to start saying it more often now until i sit there and lay the diamonds on the painting i can't give you my honest full review on it that would be fair right but this is a way to show you the image which i think is pretty awesome so i'm going to pop the diamonds back in here so they don't get lost or mixed up i should say i'm going to put that up there and i'm going to put this to the side because we're going to get out another one and i'm going to throw that over there all right let's get we're just going to get random ones out we're just gonna get random ones out. Okay? Random, random. And when you see what I paid for them, which you're gonna absolutely flip it. Now, it's nowhere near as good a bargain as my Diamond Dots one, given uh, the sizes that they were for what I paid. Oh, almost broke my nail. I am breaking a nail for no diamond painting. Give me, give me my bit. Um, However, still a bargain, especially if you're new to the craft or, or you don't even have to be new to the craft to enjoy some simplicity like this. You could be coming off the back of a really large diamond painting that's been just really exhausting to do, okay? And you might just need something really quick and, and, and satisfying to finish. And that's where these ones come into their own it's because you'll get them done like that. Yeah, it's, if you're a, a expert, I, I, I'll, I'll put inverted commas, if you're a, an experienced, I should say, diamond painter and you've been doing a very heavy confetti diamond painting, this could give you some really good relief. All right, let's just flip it, shall we? They all come with... Oh, was, that's different, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't that what that came with? It is, isn't it? That's a different one. So this comes with a... Di I don't know why there's no consistency. You get a very basic pen, wax, and boat. Okay? Yeah. Let's pop it aside. Let's have a look at this image. Uno, due, e tre. There you go. Just simple butterflies. Look at all that pink you will be going color blocking if i didn't mention before you do get the thumbnail see and it says here the serial number the symbol and the dmc so they are dmc coded and this one comes with 26 colors you wouldn't think so would you with all that pink you would not think so that crinkling is the actual plastic when i say crinkling that that look if that makes sense and even even though the plastic feels quite feels worn it feels old uh like i said i reckon that and when i spoke to the sales lady she did say to me she said they've been reduced because they're getting rid of them and they're bringing new designs in so they were going out super cheap okay i'm pretty sure they're all the same size but you will see that there is a bit of confetti in each of your butterflies. This to me would be a dream to do. You know why? Because me, your Gracie girl, I love a mixture of confetti and color blocking. So I would literally probably section this down the middle and I would be doing section like a section like this and a section like this. Imagine how quick this would work up, literally. And look at all those pinks again. Number four is your, yeah, that's the pink. It is really, a, it's a bubblegum pink on the background of this. So that is pretty cool. So that's our second painting. That's our second one. 
lots of pinks I'm noticing. Have you noticed? <laughs> Let's have a look at this one. This one I'll keep off camera because like, you know, why not, um, when I say keep off camera, keep the box off camera because then that way you can have a bit of surprise and suspense and a bit of fun like that. You know, I like to tease. I'm pretty good like that. <laughs> You have no idea how hard this is doing this behind the scenes. If only I can see that Gracie tonight is going to break a nail. Let's see what. Oh, I put that over there. Let's see which one this one is. Now, interesting that this plastic feels, they're all very different. The plastic surrounding this feels a lot, a lot more sturdier. All right, let me roll. All right, look at that. This sort of kit, go figure. Yeet, there's our diamonds. Interesting, different colors. Different colors in these ones. Okay, I need to sneeze. Excuse me, <laughs> I need to sneeze. Let's have a look at this one, you ready? <laughs> Uno, e due, e tre. More butterflies. Now this one is really like they went a whole lot of extra with the plastic, like a whole lot of extra. The good thing is that the, the glue is not running over the edge. That's nice. I like that. And the actual canvas has got a bit of glitter in it as well. Can you see that glitter? Look at those symbol quality. I mean, clarity. Just look at the symbol clarity. Okay. You can see why I thought this had to come as the companion piece, right? Butterfly heaven or what? Check it, check it. How beautiful will they look framed side by side? Let me see if I can zoom you out a bit so you can see. Check it out. Tell me they're not going to look pretty side by side. I mean, I thought that was a pretty good, pretty good um, thing to, to pick up. And... I, I can't bang on enough about how clear, oh, sorry about that, how clear these symbols are. I really can't. SA487, I'd like to know where this number is, SA487, because I honestly can't find it anywhere. I really can't. Um, yeah, very, very clear symbols. I mean, you can see that from Pluto, honestly. Honestly, and again, what do I like? It's got the, this has probably got more bigger, the butterflies are bigger in this, so you're going to have a bit more confetti rather than the colour blocking. So it's kind of almost the negative of that. See how these are bigger and they're smaller? See that? Mm -mm. I likey, I likey, I likey. It's, I can't believe how much plastic they've put on here. It's like literally right over. When it comes time to, I'm just going to snip that. It doesn't bother me. I will keep these up now. This background colour is A, which is number nine, which is this pale pink. So what? that's what that's going to be in the background. So this is going to be the pale pink and the other one's going to be the hot pink. Awesome. 20 colours. All their symbols are pretty consistent. It, they go with the numbers and then right through with the letters. Numbers and letters. Easy. Look at that. How easy is that going to be to kit up? Oh, my gosh. Tell me, tell me, you know me, right? Tell me I don't want to kit one of these bad boys up right now. Go on, go on. All right, let's pick another one out. Not that one. That one's going to be last for a reason. I keep grabbing it. It keeps wanting to come out and show its face. All right, let's see what this one is. Now, I am hoping that I haven't already shown this on my channel, but if I have and you haven't seen it, you'll see it again. I know that I've got a couple of these ones, but I'm sure it's not this one. Come on. The struggle is real, people. The struggle is real. And these are all retailed at $28.90. What is it? $28.99. Now, Kaiser Craft is typically a, an expensive store. Okay, 
uh, there is not a chance in Hades that I would pay 30 bucks for a 34 by 44 painting. Not a chance. But, however, I will pay what I paid for these ones. <laughs> Your toolkit, here it again, here it again, here it is again, yeet. Okay, here's our diamonds for this one. These are all round, okay. These are our colours here. Let's have a look at the painting. Let me put it the right way. Is it the right way or is it upside down? I think it's this way. You ready? You ready, Freddy? Uno, due, e tre. These are Australian birds, okay? This is your galah and your cockatoo. Okay, I love me a galah. We had a pet galah um, on our farm. And so, again, very, very basic. This one's probably, a, I mean, you're seeing it much better through the camera than what I am, which means that one, it needs to be diamond painted because where I am, it's a little bit pixelated. Now, the background to this is a <clears throat> mixture. See, you've got F. And then you've got H. So there are actually two different shades here to give you, see that pattern? See that pattern there? Subtly in the background. So the background to this is not as solid. It does, however, come with 19 colors. I wanna just, bear with me a sec. Is it in here? Oh, no, it's not. Hmm. I thought I did have this already, but I wasn't sure, so I picked it up anyway. 19 colours. These are all the same size, guys, all the same size. 19 colours, it is numbers and letters again. Easy peasy. You've got a gum nut flower here. So that's, again, it's a gum leaf with a, I'm pretty sure that's a gum nut. Aussie peeps, help me out. Aussie peeps, if you're out there. Help me out. That is, that's a gum. I'm sure it's a gum nut. Shh. Don't come at me if I'm wrong. Shh. <laughs> I love me a galah. All right. We, there's a very typical slang thing. And I, hey, you silly galah. You know, it's like you silly person. There's a bit of Aussie slang for you. Okay. And of course, our famous cockatoo. That's a black cockatoo. I don't, think I, I don't think I have ever seen a black cockatoo. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, there's a few here, guys. So, like, if I didn't say to you, strap yourselves in, I'm going to tell you now, strap yourselves in. Because, you know, there's a few here to get through. There's a few here. And they're all easy. They're all simple. They're, you know, lots of fun. Lots of fun. And cheap. Cheap, 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 cheap. Um, opening this one, okay, let me roll this one back, and you're going to start seeing a pattern, or will be revealed momentarily. What is it? Say it with me. Toolkit, what are we going to do with it? Say it with me. Yeet! <laughs> All right. Here's our diamonds for this one. We're back to these colors. Remember these colors? Look, look how bright they are. Bright, fun, happy. All right, let's have a look. Let's, um, which way does this go? This way. Oh, there's a different orientation. Are you ready? Are you ready, Freddy? Uno, due, e tre. Ah! <laughs> Do you know what? This went in the cart, out of the cart, in the cart, out of the cart, in, out, in, out. Why? I'm just not a fan of the pussycats. <laughs> that being said, I mustn't be too cruel because I do have some Mica Gelina. Now, this one here, look, can you see? The glue seems to have, um, it, it, I, look, is it sticky still? Yeah, it's still very sticky. It just seems very, like, old. This, uh, this reminds me of a, 
experience I had with um, another company actually. Like once I do that, it seems to help it quite a lot. So it just needs a little, yeah, see that's, yeah, that's, that's helped a lot. And it just needs that a little bit more. There you go. You know, squishing it out. You've got these two big eyes. Again, you've got color block. I, I would say this is more color blocking than confetti. But again, it will work up. This this sort of thing kind of almost looks like a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, and when you put it together, you're going to end up with this big goopy eyes. <laughs> with these whiskers. <laughs> Can you see the theme? Do you remember our first one? So it's the same size, just different orientation. Okay. But this one is Zikat. Um, what's it called? It's called Kitty. This one's called Kitty. So I'm just giving you an idea, like literally how quick. Can you see these working up super quick? I can. I really, really can. And even though they're square here, the diamonds are round. Okay, so placement won't be an issue from that perspective. This one's got 25 colors. Uh, 25 colors. Just double checking its numbers and letters again. Okay, uh, so let's pop that one aside and let's put this where it needs to be. And let's keep going. Yes, 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 let's keep going. You've really got to like these colors you really gotta like I just I'm gonna keep saying it and saying it and saying it to be honest I just think these are a great snack or morsel or just beginner whatever you want to call it whatever you want to call it now this one I'm not so sure about we're gonna find out together if this is going to be a yay or a nay because I, again, for different reasons to the cat, I was umming and ahhing about this. All right, here's our toolkit. What are we gonna do with it? Yeah. Okay, de-stiffen our canvas. Here's our drills. Lots of, lots, lots of paintings, lots of colors in this one. You ready? Uno, due, tre. Let's do it and let's go that way and Let's see. Oh, I already did the one of the Let's just turn it, Gracie. Let's have a look. And you know what? Through the camera, it's not that bad. It is not that bad. Look, it's very basic. And to me, honestly, when you look at it closely, it really does look like they're jigsaw pieces because they are literally blobs of colour. It is a very, I would say, beginner type painting honestly honestly oh it's very sticky very sticky very sticky and you might be thinking grace why are you showing such simple paintings on your channel i mean you've done a, you've done a, a josephine wall you've done so many paintings that have got confetti and intricate detail oh geez this isn't working out intricate detail and all that good stuff why are you bothering with this well because you know what as i said earlier not everyone is at the same stage and i feel that why wouldn't i share something that is available to those who might even just be still researching diamond painting that is so much better isn't it but how He's cute, right? Now, this one's called, uh, yeah, Tiger. I was going to say Tigger, but no, Tiger. So, this one's got a blue background. Thank goodness, yeah? I mean, like, enough with the pink, all right? Enough with the pink. I was getting a bit, uh, I don't know how many more I've got pink. But let's, um, let's go with the fact that I like that this has got the blue. And it's fun. It's bright. It's easy. The background on this, again, just like the previous one, is two-toned. 
So you got uh, the number four and K. So four is three, three, six, and the K is nine, three, nine. So there's not even, it's not even, um, the background is not even black. Okay, it's two shades of blue. The 310 is very minimal. It's actually, see all the dark areas? See all that? That's your 310. So you're not going to be exhaustimicated with 310 in the background on this one, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. Some people do like uh, diamond painting, or you, you know, 310 is, uh, not may necessarily their favorite oh favorite color but it could be their favorite color to diamond paint which is absolutely fine oh my goodness how many more we've got one two three four more hang in there guys hang in there we're getting there we're getting there let's open this one up do you know what i've come home from work I've done not one, but this is my second video tonight. I don't even know what time of night it is. I haven't even had dinner. That's how much I wanted to get this video done so that they were ready for you guys to upload throughout the week. Okay. Let's um, unwind this one. Oh, oh. Come on. Oh, oh. Now, if you've been around, I've been watching Gracie for a while. Okay, we know what to do. We're not even going to talk about it. Yeet! Here's our diamonds <laughs> on this one. Okay. I bet you you can't guess what this one is. Look at that. There's lots of white in this one. There's uh, blues. If you've been around on my channel long enough, what does Gracie always like to do? She likes to do what? She likes to do her sets. True, remember? I call them sets. Other people, and I actually quite like this word, they like to call them companion pieces. Same, same, but different, right? True, true. All right, let's have a look. Uno, due, e tre. Aha! Check him out! Check him out! Ah! Now, this one, take a guess what he's called. I know, right? Giraffe. He's called Giraffe. Can you see the theme? That's. Can you imagine these all done? Um, even for a kid's room, yeah? Christmas is coming up. Maybe you've got um, a christening coming up and you, or even yourself if you're expecting and you want to do up a baby's room and you want to have all these around the room. There's a thought. Or if you know of someone who's expecting, you could do a set of these and they can put them up because they will grow with the baby. You know, they're cute enough you know, for a baby's room and they'll grow up into toddlers and then, the to and then they can start learning colors. By, you know, they'll, they'll start learning the animals, they'll start learning the colors. There's lots of different ways that you can utilize these for kitties. Or if you're a big kid yourself, you can just enjoy doing them and keeping them for yourself. Again, it is very. It, it gives me like jigsaw vibes. Jigsaw, yeah. A jigsaw puzzle, yeah. I, I had to think of my words there. See what I mean? The background. Yes, it's confetti, but it's not that. You know, it's not going to do your head in. These, uh, these are going to be fun to do. So fun. How quick is it going to work up? Guys, honestly, this is 23 colours. Okay, same numbers and, and letters. Cute, right? Cute, cute, cute. Giraffe. Done. Done, diddly, done. Uh, we've got two more to go. Okay. I'd for see, I, I've had this in the bag and I'd forgotten what I've had. Or I forgot what I had, you know. I, I haven't looked inside the bag since I bought it. I literally put the bag on the table when I started filming with you guys. All right. So, let's open this one up. Uh, let's. What do we do? Say it together. 
Yeek! <laughs> Here's our diamonds on this one. Oh, there's a bit of extra plastic. That's very kind of them. Let's let's put that get out of my camera shot. Thank you. Um, here's our diamonds for this one. You can see why I'm not going to go through all the diamonds, right? You'd be here forever in a day. Uh, this one goes this way. Can you see through what it is? Don't look. Stop looking. Okay, you can look. You ready? Uno, due, e tre. Of course, of course, of course, I had to, I had to, I had to. A bit sad that that's bent. Is it going to bother me? No. These will be easy to find frames for too, being the size that they are. Honestly, it's going to be so beautiful to find. And if I'm lucky enough, I'll be able to find frames that are matted as well. Oh, that just didn't work out well at all. Mm. Um, oh, this way, Gracie. <laughs> Here's a butterfly. Check it out. It's got kind of like this Aztec -y, um, Aztec -y pattern on its wings. It, that's what that's the vibes it's giving me anyway. It's got the honeycomb background in blue. So, do you remember? Do you remember? Let's go back and, and have a refresh. This was the thought process behind this. Imagine, where are they? I've just got them to the side here. Imagine, don't fall, these on a wall. Oh, put that one in the middle. Can I zoom you out anymore? No. Let's go that way. Imagine, like that, yeah? I'm not doing a very good job. But that's because these these two go up way and these this one goes this way yeah but how and and how does it all just tie in beautifully how does it all tie in beautifully I like it you could have the two like that you could have this one at the top you know it's just a beautiful three-way companion piece and um, hush now you know what I'm talking about okay Let's put that in there. All right. Second to last one. Oh, and I had to drop my... I had to drop... Of course I had to drop my... Um, uh, I've got to bend. And bending ain't good. Uh, scissors. I dropped my scissors. All right. Let's have a look in here. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about the last one. Funnily enough, you're going to laugh, but I am truly excited about And this isn't the last one. We've got one more to go after this. Okay. Let's put you back where you should have been. Yeah. There. <clears throat> the mess that is in my craft room right this minute is incredible. I am absolutely... <sighs> All right. They go really OTT with this plastic. I've got to tell you. Is it a deal breaker? Not for what I paid for these puppies. Nope. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah. Here's our diamonds. Interesting colours. A little bit different. Oh, can you hear that truck? My goodness. Let's have a look at this one. Uno. Due. E tre. Pula. This one here is called a tropical macaw. Now this is the first one, the first one where there is actually confetti. We got this far guys, we got this far. And this one actually does have pretty heavy confetti. I mean, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not, um, it's not that you can't do it, but it's actually got some confetti to it, which it's a different style to the other animals. It's this is this is not in the same um, artist, if you will, or it's not the same genre, I suppose, or style. 
Whereas the other one, like I keep saying, give you give me jigsaw vibes. This one's actually got substantial more confetti. So it still won't take long, but it might take you a bit longer. And this one's got, there you go, 28 colors. Uh, none of these paintings have got ABs in them, okay? None of them. They've gone extra with the plastic over the top. You know, it's all the way. And it's very, very thin, very, very flimsy. Is it a deal breaker for what I paid for it? No. Would I Would I pay $28.99 Australian for one of these? No. Not a chance. I wouldn't. Um, I just find that I would get more bang for my buck on other images, perhaps even potentially better quality, but definitely I wouldn't be paying $29. That's just my opinion. I think it's way overpriced. Uh, but then if you're just gonna buy one painting to try it out and you can't find any of them on sale and you're thinking, well, blow it, I'll, I'll spend 30 bucks on a, on, a, on a craft and see if I like it then have had it go for it my first diamond painting cost me twenty dollars and it was you know a, a painting from my local news agent that was a budget type painting and it was 20 bucks and in my head i thought you know what it's twenty dollars it's the equivalent of maybe like three or four coffees yeah i'm either gonna love it or i'm gonna hate it well <laughs> two and a bit years later i think you know the answer <laughs> right i fell in love with it so it kind of depends on where you are in your diamond painting journey and so on and so forth. One of the points of me making this video for you today is always, always keep your eye out in places that you never think you're going to find something. Kaiser Craft was never a diamond painting store. It actually, is. that's not even their specialty. Their specialty is more craft, is more paper craft. I used to go there all the time for my scrapbooking. Okay. And they now they're dabbling in um, now they're dabbling in a bit of the diamond painting. I reckon if they dabbled a bit more and were a bit more competitive with their pricing, they'd probably get a lot more um, sales or or recognition or exposure. But they are known predominantly for their um paper crafts now this is the one that i've been looking forward to and this is probably out of all of them the one that i'm probably going to start first if and when i get an opportunity to <laughs> all right basic toolkit funny about that Yeet. not a lot of diamonds in this one now this one is saying uh, that the design size is 54 by 44 and the canvas is 600 by 500 or 60 by 50. Sadly, it's a partial, but you'll understand why it's a partial in a minute. Stop looking. <laughs> Let's just reveal it. Uno, due, e tre. Look! Check it out. It is my country. Yes, it is Australia. It is a partial. That's why you see this having lifted up. So with this, no amount of nothing is going to help this other than I'm going to flip it on its bum like this on its front. I'm going to get a, a towel and I'm going to get a cool iron and I'm just going to iron it and that will flatten this out beautifully trust me i've done it many 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 times do not do not put the iron on this side i have heard of people doing that no 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 no. do not iron the front please this plastic funnily enough seems a little bit more substantial however sticky 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 a partial if again if you're new to diamond painting means that it's not completely diamond painting see this is not diamond painted where you see the colour it is. But this is my country, Australia. How nice will that be diamond painted? So this is Western Australia. This is the Northern Territory. This is 
South Australia. This bit down here, this bit here is Victoria. This here is New South Wales. And this bit here is Queensland. In here is the Australian Capital Territory, okay? And down here is Tassie, Tasmania. I really, really like this. This one's got 28 colors. 28 colors and you would have thought that it would have been completely color blocking but it's got a bit of confetti in there and i'm super excited about doing this this is this will work up so quick so 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 quick it's it, there'll be, there's nothing to this at all honestly it'll be yeah i don't even know how i would section it i think i'd i don't know if i'd, I'd i would just go east to west but this will look magnificent in a frame, I feel. I really feel this would look magnificent in a frame. I really can't wait to do this one. So, oh, let's talk about prices. So, this one here was the most expensive. Now, retail, this would have cost $37.99. And it's a partial. It's a no from me. No, thank you. No, no, no. I got this for originally it was $37.99 then it went down to 11 what is it 39 then it was 50% off mic drop mic drop 50% off start doing the maths Peeps, start doing the maths. I ask you, all these other ones, they started off at the, what is it, $28.99. They were $14.49. Take 50% off. Thank you very much. Mic drop. I'll flash across here because I can't remember the total. I was just so super excited. I said, yeah, give it more to me. I'll flash across here what the full retail would have been versus what I paid for. And that's where you gotta be on your game. Go in, ask the questions, look for your bargain stickers. I mean, like, seriously, it came down to what, $7.25? Yeah, for a $30 painting. All of them, all of them, all of these. They were all 50% off this sticker here. Okay, so. If you live near a Kaiser Craft or if you know of a Kaiser Craft in Australia or if, whatever the case may be, or if you're on their website, look out for their sales. I'm telling you, you will not go wrong. Now, these all had a perp. These two are probably the ones that were the random ones out of them. I'm really, really looking forward to doing this. We've already spoken about this set here. Okay. That's once, you know, that's a set there. And then... Look at the animals. One, two, three. Oh, no, we got the other bird. Sorry, beg my pardon. I, I, oops. There's four. So I would go one, two, three. I'd probably put those three there. I'm left with a pussy. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do with the cat? What am I going to do with it? It's... It's this way. It doesn't fit. Honestly, it just doesn't go anywhere. Would I put it that way? No, I think I actually like this orientation like that. I think I like the two. Yeah, like that. What am I going to do with this? <sighs> this one here, well, it kind of, and I know I've got some other birds from Kaisercraft, but it kind of really is not a companion piece with this, but, you know, it's birds. So, I... I for the seven bucks that it was, seven dollars and change, I wasn't going to leave it behind. Um, hmm. Well, that is my awesome haul, my awesome bargain find. I'm excited, excited to bring you these videos. I hope you've gotten some ideas. I hope you've gotten some thoughts. I hope you've enjoyed the bloopers, the fun, the all the in betweens. Um, with all that being said, please, when you get to the end, can you tell me what to do with the pussy? <laughs> please. <laughs> and please don't say, give it to me and, and do all that. 
what I'm saying to you guys, if you get to the end, put pussy in it. Put pussy in a sentence. Let me know that you've gotten to the end and lasted to here. <laughs> with all that being said, <laughs> with all that being said, please look after yourselves. Look after each other. Have each other's backs. It is so, so super important. Until I see you next time, I'm going to send you all bunches of love. Don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. I'm going to send you all bunches of love. And until next time, ciao, ciao for now.